Here's what Jake has to say. I've been dating my girlfriend for three years, and she's in her first year of med school. She'll have over $300,000 of student loan debt by the time she graduates. I'm planning to propose to her after I graduate and get a good-paying job a year from now. I'm 24, and I'll graduate debt-free with a finance degree later this year. I've got 20000 in savings, and I'm wondering if I should use that and the income I'll have for my future job to help pay for her med school since her debt will be mine once we get married. I don't like debt, and 300000 just feels overwhelming to me. I don't know if it's a good plan to pursue, and my parents don't think I should do it since we're not married yet. I was initially planning to use my savings to put a down payment on a house once I graduate and get a job. I would like to get a second opinion on this. Ooh -wee. We'll give you that. We might give you a third one. Yeah, we'll give you some opinions, Jake. Here's the deal. Until you're, and this is for everybody, until you're married, we don't suggest combining finances. We don't suggest paying for your girlfriend's this, paying for your boyfriend's that. Even if you're fiance status, we don't, we don't suggest going to that level because here's the thing. You don't know if it's going to work out. And if it doesn't work out and you've dropped, you know, the 20K that you've painstakingly saved, you know, for a home down payment, man, you're up a creek and you're feeling, you're feeling terrible at that point. Now, let's talk about this 300K in student loan debt. Let's just pretend, George, that, that everything goes right. That in a year from now, he's able to graduate. He pops the question. She says yes. And they get married. Let's say that happens a year from now. Then... And only then he could start talking. They, they could start talking about, OK, how are we going to pay this debt off together? But until then, it's simply just a conversation. They can start plotting out. They can make sure they're on the same page moving forward. And that's probably where you need to start. Jake is having some conversations with her because she you're not OK with debt, but she was OK with taking out three hundred thousand dollars of debt. And uh, you guys need to have a conversation about that, because if she's OK with debt and you're not then uh, you guys are going to run into some friction ahead. Now, I would advise this. If she hasn't already taken out the student loans, because you said she's got a couple of years until she graduates, let's try to convince her to pay cash and pay as she goes, slow down a little bit, see if she can find some programs uh, that'll help supplement her education so that she's not having to go into this student loan debt. There is always a way to pay for school. And we have a, a Ramsey personality here, Christina Ellis. She specializes in that, George. She was able to earn over $500,000 in scholarships and went to amazing schools. Vanderbilt, man. She's way smarter than me. She, yeah. Goodness so it, gracious. I'm telling you, there is a way to do this. I think you need to have that conversation, but I do not. I repeat I do not want you spending your money on her education, especially now in this boyfriend girlfriend zone. Definitely not in the fiance zone. Not until you get married. What do you think, George? Well, the end of the question was, I want to use my savings for a down payment on a house once I graduate and get a job. And the truth is, if you plan on marrying her, this could delay that dream. Good point. And that stinks. And that's one thing that debt does to your life. It delays your dreams. Mm. And if you don't believe me, go watch Borrowed Future and hear the numerous stories about how student loans have held people back from becoming homeowners. Hope deferred from makes the getting heart married, sick. From having kids. Mm. And it's heartbreaking. And so uh, I would suggest you two sit down and watch that together. And you can help her develop a plan to try to graduate debt free. Um, but don't put a dime towards it. And I would pause on this home purchase until we know more. Are we going to get married? Because Lord knows she's going to want to move somewhere else and you didn't pick the right place yeah. and the wall color is not the right one. And so I would just put pause on this. Keep saving up that down payment. Have the emergency fund in place. You keep living your life debt free and have those values conversations around money. That's right.